finally a guest. Ooh. Hey, it's Daryl Martini. Hi, Matt. Wow, Daryl's known to millions as the Cosmic Muffin. Keyword, Cosmic Muffin, that big online service. Daryl. Oh, yep. Hi, you got the invitation. I didn't need your invitation. I checked my horoscope and it said, there's a party going on, so I'm here. So if you know so much about the future, why don't you tell us what's coming up next right here? Eh, watch this one. Matt Frewer's coming up. Max Headroom. Right, in that Psy Factor show now. Oh, yes, on TV. He's sort of like a maven about things paranormal. I think I've seen a UFO. Uh, I, I saw a light in the sky over, over uh, I'm gonna, I saw a light in the sky over Malibu, but then again, so is everybody else who lives in Malibu. Matt Brewer, perhaps best known to webheads for his role as the first mainstream cyberpunk Max Headroom, and in films like the world-blending Lawnmower Man, has found himself once again at the crossroads of science and phenomenon in Sci Factor, a TV show that investigates the paranormal. I play Matt Prager, who's the case manager of the OSIR team. You ever been to Puerto Rico, Ted? It's a very interesting character because he, he's somewhat of a skeptic, but he's put in these unbelievable situations, and he he uh, is is forced into a situation where he, he has to be open-minded. So it's a lot of fun to play. And like Frewer, an open mind and a sense of humor will serve you well as you investigate the paranormal offerings on the internet. For one-stop shopping, consider The Paranormal Project. They've got them all. Bigfoot, ghosts, Loch Ness, and Foo Fighters. Feeling out of sync? Check out these aura photos. And if you think maybe you've seen a ghost, relax, you're not alone. I've seen the results of what I thought was a ghost. I've seen a, <clears throat> a cat door move, and it was kind of going wackety, 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 rather like in, um, in uh, Close Encounters, and, uh, and there was no wind. No ghosts in your home? Fear not. There are ghost expeditions, ghost stories, an occult search engine, and a ghost cam live or perhaps dead on the web. I believe that when, when people leave this earth, they, they uh, leave... Uh, they leave an essence of who they are behind. Even the legendary Chupacabra, one of the web's favorite unexplained phenomena, has been tackled by Frewer and his team of paranormal detectives. In the second episode, we did cover it, not to the extent that a lot of people who surf the net would like, but we actually did cover it. Some call it a legend, some call it a demon. All they know is when it's through with an animal, there's nothing left but a pile of rancid white meat, the blood suck clean out of it. Kind of like a Real. If you want to find out more about the Chupacabra or goat suckers, might we suggest the Periscope.com site, complete with a Chupacabra diagram, or Zpole.com for Chupacabra ready to wear. Who knows, we may revisit it, you know, as soon as we run out of ideas, which could be any minute. <laughs> One idea Frewer's online fans would like to suggest is a segment on ESP. It seems many webheads think Frewer's Max Headroom character predicted the internet. But when asked if he would submit to an online test... If I had ESP, I'd know about it, so I wouldn't need a test. And what about a Max Headroom or Lawnmower Man sequel? I think if, if Max came back now, it would the, the, we would want the comeback to be op, op, opportune. And uh, as far as Lawnmower Man goes, I, I don't think so. I don't think they're planning any, any more sequels. So there, there goes my, uh, my chance at, at uh, the Garden Tool franchise. This party's a bust. No, I checked your horoscope. 